Well, with um, yeah, with Denmark so far, it's a country like I said. It is meant to keep people happy, you know, and the, I think the government is doing good to the people. You know, I don't want to talk too much about politics, not get too deep into politics. But, you know, so far, you know, here in Denmark, we go in the supermarkets. We don't wear masks now. Right now, it's summertime, so masks are not necessary. The whole of Denmark doesn't wear masks. What I've also realized when you travel by train, my last video, which I just uploaded recently, when I arrived in a small town, border town called Partenburg, you know, I was wearing my mask actually. And when I connected trains and proceeded to, yeah, proceeded to Weile, all of a sudden I'm just seeing people unmasked, you know. Everyone was slowly being unmasked, unmasked, unmasked. And I'm like, what? I still have a mask on. I removed my mask. I was like, finally, back in a country where you don't wear masks anymore. But, well, actually now, Denmark is now considered, it is now one of the high-risk zones of Corona right now. But, like I say, some people are vaccinated, some people are not vaccinated. But in Scandinavian countries, Corona systems are very different. Like, I mean, last year, it was in Sweden, the, yeah, when, last year, I mean, when the lockdown was very strict, Sweden was the country where everything was still going on just as normal, you know, and Sweden became like a high zone of Corona, you know, but it's just that, I think in these countries, they are trying to keep things calm, you know, in Scandinavia, usually. Because in the most other countries there have been riots happening. In Germany they've been rioting quite recently. And yeah, police brutality was also pretty high. Not only in Germany, I mean things have been ha crazy things have been happening in Cuba. Same stuff with Cuba. That's been happening. And where, 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 where? In South Africa. But in South Africa it was more political, but I, uh, my opinion, it was also about the corona pandemic too. I mean, things have gone upside down as well. Which, yeah, riots are happening everywhere around the world so far. So far, I haven't got any news. I mean, things happened in the USA. That was last year. It hasn't happened quite recent right now. But, yeah, things are not good for now, you know. But, like I say... Scandinavia is the great country so far. Scandinavian countries are good. I mean, no one has taken anything to the streets so far. I haven't heard anything about that. Everything is pretty, pretty fine. Yeah. And where else can I talk about? I mean, France, there is lockdown right now, which is also not nice. Great Britain, I think they've got the Delta. They are affected by the Delta. I mean, Great Britain is also some country. Yeah, since we talk about Great Britain, let's talk about certain facts about Denmark, actually, since I'm thinking of Great Britain. Did you know Great uh, Denmark is also a kingdom? It's also ruled by the Queen. She's called Margaret the... I think second or third. I'm not sure. I'll just title it down below. But yeah, she's Margaret the second or the third. I mean, if you think of Great Britain, they have the Queen. I mean, the whole world knows. I think if we think of Great Britain, the whole world knows. It's. A, I think people think only Great Britain's the only monarchy in the in the whole world. But European countries have a lot of monarchies too. So with Great Britain, they have Queen Elizabeth II, yeah. And yeah, here we have the Queen, you know. So, Lord save the Queen in Denmark. Lord, uh, ra, ra. well, that's the British national anthem. I don't know the national anthem of Denmark so far, but let me try to speak a little bit of Dan Danish. So. When you greet in Denmark, you say hi, 
And when you say to someone, how are you? You say, Boden, Haroden. So, I mean, hi is understood around the world. So instead of saying hello, hello is known in English. German will say hello. So, yeah, the Danish say hi. And Boden, Haroden. It took me like a week to remember this word. Because like I've been saying, if you pay, if you pay good attention, well, some things you, some things you have to pay attention. Some things are not easy to pay attention because it's the way they are pronounced. So if I say Borden, actually I don't really know Borden. What it's really Borden, Borden, Haroden. So Haroden, it basically means like how you doing. How do then? How you doing? So then means doing. And yeah, when you say thank you to someone, it's the easiest. I mean, English say thanks. In German, you say danke. Uh, well, in Danish, it's the most easiest thing. You just say tak. Yeah, tak. <laughs> Well, if I, when I'm trying to learn, learn Danish right now, I usually try to learn it in the supermarket. First, I was communicating in English when I was, you know, paying. So when they say hi, or sometimes when they say goodbye, they say good day, you know. I think if you understand English and they say good day, you'll know it means have a good day, right? I mean... Well, when we say goodbye, they say farewell. In English, we'll say farewell. But sometimes it also sounds like when they say goodbye, like when I'm at the till, they somehow say, have a good day. Eh? So, yeah. I'm trying to learn my the best Danish I can, somehow without a Danish course. So far, I have no time to do a Danish course. So when it's, yeah, Gure, it's the best one. It's the best word I like so far. And Boden, Haroden. And then Gut, Haroden. I think something like that. Mm, yeah, so far I have to improve on my Danish. It will depend how long I'll stay in Denmark. If I stay here another three years, I'll be sitting here again or wherever speaking Danish on the Danish channel and like I've been saying I've been around Weile. Weile is also an industrial town same as Federizia named after Frederick the third yeah it was a king yeah named after the king and my main next goal is to Copenhagen but so far, I have a feeling, will I really get to Copenhagen? I'm not really sure. I don't know so so far, so for now. But let's see where I'll get, how far I'll get. Yeah, but if you want to avoid spending a lot of money in Denmark, it's, you have to learn how to cook. I don't really like cooking, but you must know how to cook. someone is walking behind me uh, yeah I'm just getting a little bit quiet you know but still it shouldn't stop me from making my video <laughs> I mean yeah it's I mean a small town called Vandal it's like a little bit far it's in between Belund and Weile so I'm now like nine kilometers away from Belund that small town I've, I've hiked from here to Pilun before. I have a video hiking from Vandal to Pilun. If you're interested, check it out. So, and since we're talking like this, we've got I've also got good subscribers who've turned into friends. I mean, strangers who've become friends, and it's pretty good so far. And thanks for your comments and well also family is commenting on the video and 
if new people are out there, you know, interested in the content, I know sometimes it's hard to understand me. I'm speaking with a, yeah, with a certain accent. But if you enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe, feel free. Even if you hate, feel free to hate, you know. I've been, like I've been talking about this video, deported from Denmark, you know, hate. If, if it's a racist comment, write it down. You feel free. Opinions are open. So, I think I'll end this video like this today. Yeah, with a nice Sunday. I have to add more video. I need more content so far. So far, so good. So, I just need more content. The content is, uh, is now getting quiet and quiet. Yeah. So as we go a little something like this, I hope you enjoy.